guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you something that's a bit of a tradition in my family and it's called Sunday lunch. I grew up having Sunday lunches because it was the only time that the family could come together and eat a meal together. And I think that's common for a lot of people, a lot of different uh, cultures have dinners and all this stuff. So, um, but when I got married, uh, we still continued the whole lunch idea or uh, tradition where we would go to my parents or my in-laws and then we do, did some ourselves. But as my kids got older and we ended up having activities on Sundays or traveling a lot on the weekends because they were both in competitive sports, we kind of fell out of that habit of having a sit-down lunch. And being that I worked from home and my husband worked from home, we were always able to have dinner together, even breakfast together with our kids. But now, um, since my kids are more, there's more chances of them being home a Sunday lunch than let's say Saturday dinner or even Sunday dinner, I have kind of started incorporating it more into my meal planning and actually we have a full out Sunday lunch. Um, so I wanted to share that with you and kind of show you what that looks like. So on the menu we have a chicken noodle soup. We call it a Sunday soup, but um, I make it from scratch with the bones and, and meat and all that stuff. So I'm going to be sharing that. I'm going to be also sharing just a quick and simple roast chicken recipe. And then um, I'm going to make dumb. So it's not a chicken noodle soup, it's a chicken dumpling soup. So I'm going to be making some dumplings, a couple sides, and I thought I'd share all that with you. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And So let's go get started. So I picked up these two whole chickens at Zares. They were on sale for $2.99 a pound, and I had cut off um, some legs off of each one of them and then i'm also going to i have a beef uh, rib bone as well as some chicken feet and a turkey neck that i'm going to be adding to this pot giant pot and i have to say having this pot filler in my new kitchen has been a game changer in filling up this pot or any po big big pots that i have so i start with cold water and then I add all of my meat and bones in and I let that come to a boil. This does take several hours to, to happen because it is cold water and it is a giant pot. I would say probably about just under two hours for it to come to a boil. And I do cover it up to, uh, to bring it to, to that. And then once it's boiling, I am adding my vegetables and my root vegetables and my seasonings in. So I've got onions, celery, carrots, potatoes. I have celery root, parsley root, and then I also have some parsley leaves. I uh, usually buy lots of parsley and root and then I just save the leaves and freeze them. And then I'm also going to add the whole peppercorns and some salt and a little Little bit of vegeta and then I'm going to cook this on a simmer once it comes to a boil I'm going to simmer it for another hour and a half to two hours I do not add my parsley leaf till probably closer to the end of the cooking time. 
So about halfway through my cooking time, I get my meat prepared. So here are the two chickens. Now, just keep in mind that I will have leftovers for the next day, either for lunch or maybe even for dinner. And I also peeled and washed and I'm soaking potatoes uh, that I'm going to cut up to go in there. For the seasoning of the chicken, I am using garlic, paprika, vegeta, some oil, and um, some salt and pepper. And I'm also going to make like a rub. So I uh, put some olive oil on top of the chicken and then I start with the seasonings. To be honest with you, I just cover <laughs> the chickens with the seasonings both sides um, and then I rub them in and massage them into the chicken. And adding paprika, not only does it give it a flavor, but I also find it helps that uh, chicken to crisp up in the oven. time to get my potatoes ready so I cut them in half uh, lengthwise and then I cut that half into fours lengthwise and then I season them with the same seasonings as the chicken so we got garlic salt pepper paprika some vegeta and then I also add some parsley flakes into this and then I also co uh, cover it not cover it I add some oil to it so that way and mix everything up and make sure that all the potatoes are coated. Once the potatoes are ready, I oil the I am putting them into two baking sheets. They're both stone. Um, that way they're evenly distributed and they're, I, I don't overpack them. And then I'm going to put this at 375 roast in a convection roast. And it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to cook fully. Obviously, the cooking time will depend on your oven as well as the size of your chicken. So I always like to use a thermometer just to make sure the chicken is done. Now it's time to add my parsley into my soup and let it simmer for another maybe 20 minutes. And while that's simmering, I'm going to prepare my side dish. And for my side dish, I had some bok choy left over. And I am just going to add it into my cast iron uh, pan. And I'm going to add some olive oil and a couple herbs to it. Like, Well, I'm going to add garlic to it and some salt and pepper. And of course, I'm going to add some vegeta as well. And I'm going to slice... Um, my garlic in there and I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic powder as well. And I'm going to add it to the oven underneath the chicken and it takes about uh, 25 minutes to, for it to cook and here is my chicken out of the oven so I'm going to let that rest and while that's resting I am going to strain my soup and I'm going to make some dumpling mixture for for the soup so for dumplings I'm going to add a little bit of broth and then I'm going to add some cream of wheat 
we call it grease uh, and then I'm going to add an egg in there as well as some parsley a little bit of vegeta and I'm just going to make a pretty thick paste out of it So here it is this is what it looks like and then I'm going to take it and with a, uh, tea, a tablespoon just uh, drop it into the soup you can use um, uh, anything you want to drop this stuff in it you can make it any size you want there is no rules on how these should look my mom used to put gizzards chopped up gizzards into here as well um, I don't do that just because my kids don't like that but I don't mind I don't mind it uh, but I don't uh, particularly make it because of my kids I also did add a little bit of soup noodle in there as well now I am going to also make a chalet sauce to go with it this is just a powder that dissolves in the water and here it is we eat the soup first with um, everybody mashes up any vegetables that they want in it um, and then uh, add the soup to it now if I was eating at my parents house I would probably have some of the meat from the soup as well but we didn't do that and then we eat our meat and here is the bok choy as a side and that's it well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and i'll see you all in my next video thanks for watching